Poor, Weak, and Trembling Creature by John Angel James He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will carry the lambs in his arms, holding them close to his heart. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 11 Dwell upon the love and tenderness of our Lord Jesus. Notice who are the objects of his care. The lambs, which means not only those of tender age, but also those who have been newly converted, those who are young in Christian experience, and also those whose temperament is naturally timid, whose strength is feeble, and whose danger is great. Yes, you are the objects of Christ's special attention, care, and solicitude. You are those whom He takes up in the arms of His power and lays on the bosom of His love. He knows your weakness, your timidity, your dangers. He will exert for you His tenderest sympathy, His greatest vigilance, His mightiest power. This expression, however, not only conveys the idea of great care of the weak, but the exercise of that care with a view to their preservation and growth. It means not only that he cordially receives them, will provide for their safety, to be concerned for their comfort, and will accommodate his conduct to their needs, but he will also nourish them through their infant existence and raise them up to maturity and strength. Let every lamb of the flock of Christ, therefore, go to him by faith and prayer and say, Blessed Jesus, I come to you as a poor, weak, and trembling creature, doubtful of my own continuance and alarmed at my numerous difficulties and enemies. I am but a lamb and often fear I shall never be anything better. But was it not in regard to such weakness that you have been pleased to utter these gracious and tender words? I flee to you as the helpless lamb to its shepherd, when hungry to feed it, or when pursued by wild beasts that he may defend it. Lord, take me in the arms of your power and lay me on the bosom of your love, though I am so poor and helpless a creature. I will hope in your nurturing power and love that I shall continue to grow and that you will one day rejoice in me as one of the flock which you have purchased with your own blood.'" 